and a theme parks. A British teenager has won nearly a million pounds after coming second in the World Cup finals of the online game Fortnite. Jaden Ashman from Essex was competing in New York in what was billed as the biggest ever esports event. Joe Tidy reports. Your Fortnite World Champions, Aqua and Nyrox! They're as shocked as you are. Playing the game they love has just earned them a shared $3 million or 2.4 million pounds. 16-year-old Emil Berkqvist Peterson from Norway, known online as Nyrox, and 17-year-old David W from Austria, known as Aqua. It all ended in a hail of bullets after a day of action watched by a packed New York Stadium crowd. The prize purse for this, the first Fortnite World Cup, is the largest ever in esports. Even the second place team became millionaires. 15-year-old Jaden Ashman, known as Wolfies, is from Essex. He'll share $2.25 million with his 22-year-old Dutch teammate, Dave Young, known online as Rocha. It hasn't really hit me yet, like, the, what's going on. Probably when I get back home, it's going to be, like, insane. 2.25 million between you, so that's over a million each. What are you going to do with that? Um, I'm probably going to try and save most of it. Like, I know it sounds a bit cliche, but save maybe, like, half of it and put quite a lot of it into a house and my family. If I'm honest with you, I've been quite against him gaming. I've been more pushing him to his schoolwork. I've actually thrown an Xbox out, snapped a headset. We've had a nightmare. <laughs> Bringing the Fortnite world to the real world has been a major moment for this game, which some say has peaked in popularity. It's also undeniably a big moment in esports in general. Later today, once again, the arena will fill for the final event, the solos. Elliot Bond, Schools and Colleges Liaison Officer with the British Esports Association, joins us now. We'll talk about Jaden in a moment. But Elliot, just tell me what your job entails. Uh, so my job is very much um, promoting grassroots esports within the UK. So for the British Esports Association, what we do uh, is we run a championships. Uh, and it's a sign up for any schools and college, secondary schools and colleges. And they play competitively against other schools and colleges in the UK, leading up to a live finals at the end of the year. Tell us about Fortnite. For the, I, I mean, I know what it is because my children play it, but yeah. if you don't know what it is, just describe it to us. Yeah, of course. Uh, so it's a free-for-all. Um, you get dropped onto an island, and it's a very like last man standing kind of battle royale event. You have to run around, find equipment, loot and scavenge, and then eliminate your, your enemies until, you, until you're the final person alive. Yeah. So it's violent. Uh, there are mild suggestions of violence, um, but it is a 12-rated game, um, and obviously we do encourage people to only let them, only let children play if they're over 12. Um, so yeah. How popular has it become? It's huge. It's been around for about two, two and a half years now, uh, and it was possibly one of the biggest games ever. Um, but it it really topped the category of battle royale, uh, and is a top-tier game at the moment. And its numbers are just getting bigger, especially with the hype surrounding this World Cup. Now, how can there be money of the magnitude we've seen Jaden Ashman, 15-year-old from Essex, when, when coming second in this uh, World Cup? Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, Fortnite has 250 million players worldwide. You know, 40 million of them tried to play into this tournament that's happening at the week this weekend. Um, and it's only fair, you know, when, when the producer like Epic, uh, they made $1.5 billion last year. So it's only fair and, and correct that they sort of put that money back into the community that helped build their game. How do they generate this amount of money then if you can play for nothing? Uh, so they do have a, well, the most popular game mode is, is free, um, but then they do have purchasable content. There's a story mode as well that you do pay for. Um, and there's other things that you can buy like skins and cosmetic items. So Jaden's success playing alongside his, his Dutch partner yeah. It should not be dismissed as just, you know, another video game, should it? To have, have beaten those odds is quite remarkable. No, this is, this is remarkably talented, you know, and, and he's not the only one. You know, there's lots of UK talent in the pool at the moment. I think there are 11 competitors that made it to the finals, all from the UK, uh, which is amazing. So, you know, you just have to understand that these guys are training, you know, they're, they're working hard, they're talented, they're skilled, they're, they've got strategies in mind before they go into the game you know, in order to come out on top. Years ago, it used to be said that if you were very good at snooker, it was a sign of a misspent youth. 
Lots of parents are trying to keep their kids away from screens a lot mm -hmm. of the time. They're concerned about addiction. We're getting guidelines about how much time we should be spending in front of screens. This, of course, might just mean that a lot of children say, look, I can win money at this. You've got to let me play. Yeah. What would your advice be to being careful, to moderating? Yeah, well, of course. I mean, that's ent entirely what we promote, really, as an organisation is, is moderation, part of a balanced and healthy lifestyle. You know, do go outside and, and do other things and physical ed education and things like that. But it's, it's, it's about working together because a lot of those skills that you can learn from esports, teamwork, coordination, leadership, they're all transferable between um, traditional sports and esports. Uh, yeah, so on top of that as well, um, we do just really encourage parents and teachers to kind of understand what their children are playing um, and why they're motivated to play it. We need to keep an eye on Jaden anyway because he's in this solo uh, competition as well. Elliot Bond from the British Esports Association, thank you very much Thanks for coming Thanks very much in. for thank having you. me. Cheers. Now, you may want to take a look down the back of the sofa because there are still 145 million old-style pound coins that haven't been returned to the Royal Mint. Shops have been unable to take the old-style coins since uh, 2017.